the craziest glow-up transformations you've ever seen. All of your favorite characters are transforming into different versions of themselves. And uh-oh, they're going to be stuck like that forever. Unless you watch today's video. Help your favorite characters go back to the way they used to be. Or else they're going to be stuckies as these evil versions of themselves. Oh, no. First up, we got the adorable Minnie and Mickey Mouse. To be honest, I already think that they look like people, so I don't know how they're gonna change any more than they already do. I guess their little ears popping out make them look like they got two Eggo waffles on their head. And I guess their nose makes it look like they got a giant black olive in the middle of their face. Well, I guess their mitts too make them look like they're a mime. Okay, okay, guys, I guess they don't look like people. So let's see them as humans. Oh my gosh, Minnie Mouse looks so freaking cute. If I ever went to Disneyland, I would say I would dress like that too. I'm pretty sure when I was younger, I honestly had to dress exactly like that. I used to be a little Minnie Mouse obsessed. Well, maybe I still am. But look at Minnie Mouse blushing out here over Mickey Mouse. Or maybe it's not Mickey Mouse anymore. Maybe it's Mickey Boy and Minnie Girl. That don't hit the same. And what's he doing holding up that flower to her head like he's holding up some microscope trying to see her up close? Like, bro, what are you trying to do there? Look at every single poor and blockhead the girl got? Or maybe he's just trying to see how much makeup on she got before he uh, decides to tie the knot with the ring. Hey, you never know, you never know. They say if you wanna know what a girl really looks like, take her swimming on the first date. Then you'll really know. Next up, we got Timon, Pumbaa, and what's the third one called? Oh yeah, Simba. All right, we got Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba. Simba's looking cute as always. Mwah. Timon is looking sly and sneaky, but are we surprised? Pumbaa, eh, what are you gonna do? Pumbaa looks the same. He's just out here living his best life, so don't bother him. But they might be happy as animals, but are they happy as humans? Let's see. Whoa, dang, okay. Pumbaa's looking kind of muscular. Dang, son. If I ever find myself in a jungle safari in Africa, I want him to take me. You just know that a lion will be creeping up on you waiting to attack. But with Pumbaa there, mm -mm -mm, he's got our back. And with a little slappity slap slap, oh, that lion is leaving. And not with any of us in his mouth. That's for sure. Timon looks a little, I don't know, a little less cute than I thought. Like, he's so cute as the little lion in the movie. Now he kind of just looks like a frat boy at a party at the end of the night where they're at that stage that they're just taking their tops off and throwing it around like it's some game of ring toss. And don't get me started about Timon. This boy looks like everything I imagined him to be in the movie. You know what? He actually looks way worse. Look at the sneaky look on that guy's face. You know he's the type of dude that's just waiting to just stab you in the back at the first chance he has. Sorry, bro, but I'm not about it. Ooh, now we got Scar from Lion King, the evil lion. I know he's supposed to be evil and all, but dang, look at those eyes. Those are the type of eyes that you get lost in first, and then two seconds later, you're stuck getting hypnotized, but in a bad way. He's the type of dude you go back and forth, one second thinking he might be good, one second thinking that he's no better than human garbage. But as a human, we got this this oh man now this is creepy i think they nailed the eyes for sure but just looking at him is giving me the creeps and look at this dude just pondering down like this probably plotting his next plot to eat some more mice or something i don't know what he's thinking about but you know it's not good he do be having some shiny nice skin though care to pass on your skin routine and those nails are kind of on fleek too. But he's taking better 
more care of themselves than I am. And that's a problem. We got Donald and Daisy Duck. Daisy's looking all fly, showing off her figure. And we got Donald, the showboater, being like, look at me, guys, look at me. I'm here. No, really, look here. And now as humans, we got, holy jeez, Donald and Daisy Duck human. Man, what the heck? Why are they looking all fancy and stuff? Last time I remember them, all they be doing is quack, 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 quackity all the time. How'd they go from that to this? Like, okay, Donald and Daisy, subtle but not so subtle flex. And Donald, what kind of hat is that? Dude looks like he's wearing a piece of red velvet cake on his head. And Daisy's dress line looks like my favorite kind of vanilla frosting that you pipe around the cake. Maybe they are the perfect match. At least they dress like it. Next up, we got Flounder from The Little Mermaid. You know that little yellow and blue fish right there? He's pretty cute, you know? He got them chubby cheeks. You just want to squish a little bit. But as a human, Human. He looks a little something like this. Man, I'm pretty impressed. He's looking pretty cute. I'm digging the little blush on the cheeks with that sky blue hair. That takes some gut. And he's pulling it off too. I like the t-shirt. I like the pants. Mm, the shoes maybe look me. They look like some expensive Balenciaga shoes that were trying to be cool but didn't really pull it off that well. But overall, I give them an 8 out of 10. Now we got Sully and we got Mike from Monsters University. You know that place that you're supposed to go to learn stuff with books and tests and stuff? Yeah, I don't want to think about it either. Here is them if they actually had to go to real university as a human. Man, Mike's looking so cute with his little chicken legs and big feet and green hair. But he's trying to be Billy Eilish, but the Billy Boy version. So he's out here in university as a 55 year old, apparently. Hey, I'm not judging. Get your education, whatever age you want, but maybe shave uh, your hand a little bit there, Sully, because you're looking a little hairy. But his hair is even growing out blue. But my question is, does this man's hair actually grow blue? He got blue hair, the blue goatee, the blue hair on the hand. Tell me this, does it actually grow that way? Are you box dying that thing every night in your bathroom? Because that's a lot of work. Okay, guys, make your guesses right now. If they had to go to real university, what kind of grades are they going to be getting in their classes? We're thinking they would ace it or maybe get a couple Fs. Next up, we got the cute little puppy, Bolt. Oh, he's so cute and perfect. I just want to squeeze him. And I don't want him to change to a dirty human. Because you know we're all dirty now. Staying in our houses and stuff. What's the point of showering anymore? Ooh, no. Okay, guys, still shower, still shower. That's gross. Okay, Mr. Bolt. Is it just me, guys, or is he looking good? Are you Bolt or Troy Bolton from High School Musical? Because you cute. Next up, we got Goofy, everyone's favorite character. At least he was my favorite. But as a person, uh, I don't know how to take this one. But he looks like somebody that your dad would hire to play at your birthday party, but you really never was wanted him to show up. He's doing his thing, trying to make his jokes and entertain you guys, but you just want him to leave. Human Goofy, I'm gonna have to give you a four out of 10. You're not that bad, but you're still pretty freaking bad. Olaf from Frozen. Oh, he's so sweet. Look at him laying in that field with that hot sun, not even melting, but he's invincible. Nothing that a warm hug can fix, if you get what I mean. Hi, I'm Olaf and I like warm hugs. Uh, why does my dude look like he's hypnotized in a trance? He's like, hi, I'm Olaf and I like warm hugs. Dude, you're scaring the children. Maybe stop. Other than the fact that it looks like he's about to be drooling out of the mouth and watering in the ears, I think he still looks pretty cute, pretty nice, pretty approachable. Seven out of 10. 
Now we got our girl Dory from Finding Nemo. Ooh, looks like they're gonna be drawing her as a girl with blue hair. Duh. Pink eyes for a sure glow. Oh, she's looking cute already. Ooh, wow. Them yellow highlights. Dang, girl, you're looking good. Those pink eyes, though, kinda iconic. Her lips are looking so fluffy and smoochable, if you know what I mean. But something tells me that this girl might be a little bit too smart for the Dory fish version. I don't know if that's me being mean, but this girl just gives me a straight A student kind of vibe that I don't think Dory does the same. Dory as a human, hmm, I'm gonna have to rate her a seven out of 10. I dig the creativity, I dig the picture, but something about their personality, in my mind, doesn't really match. Next up we got Marie the cat. Oh, she's so cute. I know she's gonna be cute already because I'm digging the hair. Oh, those lips look juicy. And the cat eyeliner, cause that, she's a cat. Oh, okay, fluffy necklace. What the heck, I'm so down. Those strokes though. Man, these people are so talented drawing these whole freaking people up in here. Meanwhile, I could barely draw a square. And I'm not even kidding. Oh, those freckles. Oh, what the heck? Man, she's stunning. I mean, her hair be looking a little white like old lady like, but still stunning. Them fluffy soap brows though. And she definitely got those cat eyes. She's the type of person who's super cute, but you kind of just think there's a touch of evil in them. Kind of like a cat. I'm gonna give her a nine out of 10, cause she's Gorgeous, chef's kiss. Ooh, next up we got Minnie Mouse again. Oh, I freaking love Minnie Mouse so much. I wanna go to Disney World, guys. Polka dot dress, biggest eyes ever. Oh, she is looking cute. Oh, look at those space buns. I love doing space buns. Mm -mm. Oh, those strokes. Colors. Oh, I like those colors. It's like watercolors mixed in together. <gasps> oh, dang. This is the ultimate girl next door. She's super cute. But you also think that she's a big sweetheart. I'm gonna give her 7.5 out of 10. Just cause I love Minnie Mouse so much. But family, before we learn about Player's origin story, did you know that he has a super secret twin sister? Oh man, you gotta take a look. Open sesame. <laughs> <laughs> what? Open sesame? Cute little pink bubblegum girl. I think it's open sesame. Wait, or actually, maybe it is sesame. What? Ooh. Oh, she's so cute. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. Oh, no. the cutest girl I've ever seen. Oh. Um. Oh! Player likes her. <laughs> Player, don't get distracted! Mommy Long Legs about to oofy toofy in the shredder. Probably focus on that first. You're right. Let's do it. Yay! Wait, what, wait, what are they doing? D d oh, that hurt! <laughs> now you'll pay for this! Oh! oh. Just stop Mommy Longlegs from opening in the shredder! But now Mommy Longlegs is gonna oof them! That turned around real quick. That hurt! Now you'll pay for this! Ah. Uh, told you! <laughs> Take this, you dumb mommy! No! Oh. Uh, stupid kid! You don't know what you did! Help me, please! No! Play your twin sister! <laughs> don't you worry, my dear! Hands, attack! No, 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 no! Huh? You won't take her! No! They're both gonna take it from Prototype! Pull! I 
thought I was getting tickled too. Whoopsies. Family, comment down below magic potion as a secret word of today's video, and I'll heart your comment. Finally. Whoa. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, you gave him a little smoochy smooch. Wait a second. Aren't they supposed to be twins? Uh, no comment. Family, it is time for the sad player origin story. Get your hairballs ready. I think we're about to cry. Or get very angry. Okay, here she goes, it. Gotcha. I could have saved myself with my grab pack hands, you know. Ah, uh, player. Jesse Messi just saved your life. And you are just giving her a whole bunch of sass. Kind of ungrateful, but okay. Why do you two want to meet in a ventilation shaft anyway? It's not the vent that's important. It's where it leads. Where does it lead? Anyone in here need saving? Scream in pain if you can hear me. Ah! Oh, is he not... Talking to me? Oh. Huh. I'm not seeing anyone. Who sent the note saying someone was in trouble? You don't know. It was anonymous. I'll answer that mystery. It was me. Who's me? Wow! Oh! That is not the face I wanted to see. Actually, I didn't want to see any face at all. I know I'm gonna see a cheeseburger. Cause I am hungry. <gasps> the CEO! Yes. I had a favor to ask you, and that seemed like the easiest way to get your attention. No oh, man! Was there even anyone who needed saving? Of course there was. Him. <gasps> but it can't be. Who is that? That's Blair! Back before he was turned into a toy! Ow! No! That's what Player looks like pre-banana yellow face! Wow, he looks kinda good! Now he just looks like a yellow Teletubby. But maybe that's not such a bad thing. Yes, this poor boy's in danger. You see, he lost his human body, and only I have the way to return it. What? This here is one of the rarest potions in the factory. In fact, it's the only one in existence. And it's the only potion with the power to turn you human again. No way. Very much yes way. Player, I'll give you this potion if you do a tiny favor for me. Tiny favor? Okay, sure, sure. We'll do anything. What, what do you want us to do? Do the dishes, clean the laundry, rub your dirty, stinky feet. I'll do it. Wait a second, family. Do we trust him? I don't think so. I have the need for this small microchip. If you get it for me, the potion is yours. Simple as that. However, you only have one hour. Don't make it back in time, and I destroy the potion, and you stay a toy forever. Good luck. Forever? That sounds like a very long time. Oh, no. Ah! <gasps> Where are they? Can this be real? Me? Human again? Is it really possible? So, Blair was turned into a toy? Yep. While back, he was a regular boy. Then he fell into the Make a Friend machine. He's looked like this ever since. We tried to figure out how to reverse the transformation, but all our experiments proved it was too dangerous. Wow, the same thing happened to me. Uh, see ya, Kissy. Newsflash, the same thing happened to all of you. You're all toys now, but you all used to be human men. Human, human people. I used to be a nice lady. Then I was turned into a toy monster when I came to this factory looking for my boyfriend. Turns out he's also been turned into a toy monster. Boy, people around here really have bad luck about turning into toys. Wait a second. Did she just say looking for her boyfriend? Family, did we just figure out that Kitsy Missy and Huggy Wuggy is in fact dating? Whoa, oh my gosh. That is too much information for me right now. That's crazy. That's it. Player, I know just how you feel. If you have a chance to become human again, then 
I'll do everything in my power to help you. Thanks, Kissy. Aww, friendship! Wait, why did we go through the dusty vent when there is a perfectly good door right here? I thought you guys liked vents, right? Guys, over here! I found the chip! There it is! We've got it! I'm going to be human! No! Player, no! Them butterfinger hands really did you dirty. You really dropped the ball on that one. Or should I say you really dropped the super secret chip that would have turned you human again? Oh, that is bad luck. I've got you. Almost got it. Is he gonna grab it? Oh, that alarm noise could attract anyone. Almost. <gasps> Got me long legs. Run! I'll hold her back. Run! Run! Please. Run! The player needs to get that potion. I told you guys I'd do anything to help. Oh, my long legs! No! Kissy Mizzy! More like bitey whitey! Cause Bobby Longlegs just took a chomp out of her. Ugh. What are we gonna do? We have to save Kissy! We can't go back now, I'm running out of time! Don't worry guys, I'm fine. I've gotta get this chip to the CEO. Are you kidding? Kissy needs medical attention! But time's running out! Her time may be running out! Look, I, I need to do this! Why? Because! Because why? Because I don't want to be a stupid toy anymore! Do you think I'm a stupid toy? That's not what I meant. I, I I've got to go. Whoa, player, that was harsh. And you almost made Poppy cry! They'll understand. I, I just need to get this chip back in time. Is player gonna make it in time? Come on, hurry up. Uh, well, at least I'm time. in a nice elevator instead of a gross vent. Ah! Mommy long legs! Come on, player. I can give you a lift. Right into my mouth. Let me off! Let me off! <laughs> Blair kind of looks like a hot dog there. Maybe next he's not gonna turn back into a human. He's gonna turn into a fast food item. Cause I do like a good barbecue sausage. Why should I do that? Because, because he's got a chance to be human again. Human? I remember when I was human. Before they turned me into this. I remember that! We actually watched the whole video on it, family. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Because that was Mommy Long Legs before she turned into an evil big spider. She used to be so cute. But I only mean her looks. Because her personality was yeah, kind of sassy. Fine. I'll let you go this one time. Go. Become human. You'll be tastier like that anyway. Uh, thanks. Poppy? Why did you save me? Well... You may be a jerk sometimes, but you're still my friend. If this is important to you, I'm going to help. Now get in that office before the timer runs out. You hear that, player? Get in that office! Go, go, go! Oh, sorry, I'll let Poppy continue to talk. Is player about to turn back into a human? Nine. Eight. Eight wow. seconds left. I genuinely thought he was going to make it. You, Jerkly! I've got your dumb microchip. Wonderful. Now eat it. Eat it? Why? 
Well, there's one other part of the arrangement that I forgot to mention. You see, I've grown fairly tired of you ruining my schemes. I keep trying to have you killed, and frankly, it's doing a number on office productivity. But I'm a fair man. I'll let you turn human again with my potion. However, once you do, you must leave this factory and never, ever return. What? That microchip is a little insurance policy. It's a targeting beacon for my security lasers. After you've swallowed it, you'll never be able to come back. If you try, these lasers will fry you before you even cross the threshold. So, do we have a deal? Leave the factory forever? Player, what are you going to do? Player is about to leave the factory as a human and leave behind all the poppy playtime toys forever! Oh no. I'm getting sad just thinking about it. Why is he gonna choose? No deal. What? Have you gone insane? There are still so many people in this factory that need my help. So many other people that have turned into toys. Sure, some of them have tried to kill me, but a lot of them are my best friends. And they deserve all my help. I'm not saving myself until I can save all of them. Ah, suit yourself. Laser guns, fire at will. No! Stupid targeting system. Shoot the toys, the toys. Run! Don't worry, I'll catch you. I told you I could do it. Wait, why aren't you human? The potion was destroyed. That's okay. If it could be made once, it can be made again. Besides, I have a lot of really great friends in this factory. And you know what? It's not so bad being a stupid toy. Well, Flair, you probably just made the worst decision of your life. I mean, but uh, good job. You're gonna save your friends. Woo! Let's see how that turns out for you. Oh. Starting off with our first amazing digital circus character, we have Fomni. Ooh, I love Fomni. I even have a hat just like her. Yeah. Did I say hi? I guess I meant had a hat just like her. Cause I just lost it. Must have been the wind. <laughs> ah! Okay, on the left, we have the real animated version of Pomni. Oh, and look at the version of Pomni on the right. That's the human version. Pomni on the left looks super duper sad. And human Pomni on the right looks, um, <laughs> even sadder. Girl, I feel you. Life is hard. Next up, we have Jax, the purple bunny rabbit. This bunny might be smiling, but I assure you, family, he is sneaky. I see what's behind those real eyes, Jax, the bunny rabbit, or should I say, Jax the human? Cause look at him, family. This bunny rabbit doesn't look like a bunny rabbit no more. He looks like a teenager. But is this teenager a good one or an evil one? What do you think? Comment down below. And if you add a bunny rabbit emoji, I'll heart your comment. Oh, who is the next one? Wait a second. I don't recognize this amazing digital circus character. Oh, wow. Uh, That's because this amazing digital circus character is barely a character. Because they are about this thing and are always crying. Ooh, but wait a second. Look at the human version. Gangle, why is the animated version of you smiling, but the human version is sad? Can somebody please make it make sense? It seems like the only thing that makes the animated version of Gangle happy is by the human version of Gangle being sad. Gangle, that's not very nice. I don't care how much she looks like a red lobster. Don't laugh at her. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. This next character is Ragatha. And she is the cute doll with the red hair that kind of looks like Poppy from Poppy Playtime. On the left is the animated version from the real video. Oh, and on the right is the human version. Purple dress, red hair. Oh, but wait a sec. The human version of Ragatha is missing an eyeball. And it's covered up with a giant butt. Just like the Ragatha in the animation. Um, human Ragatha, are you okay? Because whenever you got that button, 
and stitched onto your head. That had got to hurt. Ah! But family, we are not done yet because we have even more characters coming right now. And I think you know who the next one is. And next up, we got Kane. Not to be confused with the popular candy cane. Unlike Kane's dirty rotten teeth, at least these ones taste good. Oh, animated Kane in this drawing looks so cute. His body is so small and then his death are so big. Like, who do you think you are, bro? A dinosaur ready to chop on his next meal? Cause you don't gotta open your mouth that wide. Oh, but wait a sec. Look at Kane transforming into a human. That dude got style. One eye is blue, one is green. Kinda like me. And I'm sorry, sir, I think me and you are twinsies. Cause we have the same costume. Except at least mine is a costume and yours is your everyday shirt. Actually, yeah, that makes it kind of weird. At least your teeth are clean, though. Next up, we got Zuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuzuz
Maybe Gangle is finally happy that he has a friend as nice as Pomni because we're about to draw her and color her in. And then I think you know what's gonna happen after that. Pomni is getting surgery. And then we're gonna tie her up with a ribbon. And y'all know what ribbon I'm talking about. Gangle's ribbon. Okay, our picture of Pomni is complete. And now let's add the Gangle inside. Come on, Pomni, let's have surgery. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now I'm starting to cry like Gangle. Okay, we have a mask that looks just like Gangle. And now we're color, color, coloring it in. Ooh, red for ketchup and also red for ribbon. And now we're coloring in the face, the mask. And now let's see the completed task. And ta-da! Pomni now has nothing inside of her body except one little plastic face mask wrapped in a pretty little bow. At least I hope that's a pretty little bow. No, I think that's Pomni's intestines. And if that's the case, then I think they're all tangled up. Pomni, I'd probably go see a doctor. Cause that don't look right. Wait a second, here we have Pomni again? We just saw her. What the chicken nuggy? Oh! oh, there is goop inside of Pomni's brain. And I think that goop is to stick on Kane's dentures. And somebody is hiding in there. And speaking of hiding places we shouldn't be, here is a maze. What are we gonna do with this secret maze family? Oh, just wait, because we're about to show you. Don't you recognize this character from the amazing digital circus? Mm. Of course you do! It's Pomni! Color in the classic Pomni costume in red. And then what's the other half of Pomni's costume family? What color? Uh, no, not brown. <laughs> That's not a color. That's just what potatoes look like. The other color is blue! Pomni is blue and red like cotton candy. Okay, now that Pomni is all colored in, do you remember the maze that I showed you earlier? Well, family, we're gonna cut out this image of Pomni and then take that maze and put it right in the middle of Pomni's tummy! Oh, look! Now, not only does Pomni not have a brain, but she lost her tummy too? Girl, how are you supposed to eat food anymore? Pizza, sushi, chicken nuggets! First, you're stuck in the circus and now you can't eat yummy food too? Your life kind of sucks. But family, look at this DIY game we just made with Pomni. It is a marble maze that you try to get to the other end. Do not fall into any of the holes, because if you do, you lose. But if you don't, you win and get to leave the circus. Um, I, that, at least I think. But for Pomni over there, uh, yeah, I think she's still stuck forever. <laughs> Sorry, Pomni. Don't fuck me, I don't make the rules. Family, next up, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own Pomni, but made out of cake. Okay, first you gotta uh, crack all of your eggs into a bowl. Wait a second, wait a second. You put the eggshells inside. Um, is that how you're supposed to make a cake? Well, apparently that made a big blob of chocolate. Add your chocolate cake into a cake pan and put it in the oven. But make sure somebody older uses the oven. Do not use the oven by yourself because it is very hot and can be dangerous. Oh, I think the cake is done cooking. And family, that means it's time to take the cake out of the oven. And this is where things get super duper exciting. Cause the cake is now gonna start looking like Pomni. And I know what you're thinking, Alexia, this cake doesn't look like Pomni. It just looks like a very delicious chocolate cake or brownie. Well, family, look at this. Trace out the cake in the same shape as Pomni. We got the shape of her head, the shape of her head, the shape of her arms and legs and her weird jester costume. And then once you do that, scoop out all the rest of the cake and put it somewhere else, preferably in your mouth. Do not give it to your doggy or cat because chocolate for them is toxic. Okay, step one complete and now it's the coloring step. Get some icing and separate them into two different bowls. In one of the bowls, add red food coloring and in the other bowl, add blue food coloring. Mix 
mix it all up and now you're gonna have two different color ice stains one red and one blue pour it over this cake in these specific places just like the video shows because then you're gonna have blue and red stripes just like pomni's costume add on some plain vanilla icing in the middle here to look like pomni's face <laughs> And then decorate it any way you want. Make Pomni's eyeballs, her brownie face, and her very stringy looking hair. Wow, family, look! This cake looks just like Pomni! And for something that looks like a 25-year-old girl, the cake kind of looks delicious. Is it bad that I want to eat it? Because honestly, I feel like Cake Pomni over there is judging. Not my fault, Cake Pomni! If you don't want me to eat you, then maybe... Next time, try not to be made of cake. Cake equals yummy, and yummy equals in Alexia's tummy. Okay, thank you. Glad we got that sorted out. And family, like there's so many more crafts you can make with the Amazing Digital Circus. Like this magic trick right here. This might look like a regular image of Pomni. But look at this. When you try cutting her in half. <gasps> it doesn't work. What is the magic secret? of? <laughs> I can't tell you. And the reason that I can't tell you is not because I don't want to tell you. Because I literally just don't know. Magic is real and I am confused. Here we also have a really cool, amazing digital circus game book that has all of the characters inside like Kane, Pomni, Gangle, Ragatha. Wow, family, and look at this. Pomni is playing dress up. <laughs> and she's putting on all the different clothes of different characters she put on kinger's king robe <gasps> and even his king crown uh-oh pomni don't tell kinger that he might try to make you his queen pretty sure you don't want that all right family starting off with our first amazing digital circus character turning into a human who do we got here Whoa! It's Cosmo the Clown! But not the evil abstracted version of Cosmo! Just the creepy clown one. And to be honest, I don't know which one is better. Probably none. <gasps> oh, and look at this, family! We are drawing the human version of Cosmo the Clown! He is going from face painted clown with a weird party hat on top <gasps> to a sad little human that kind of looks like the sauce of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, family, why else would his hair be yellow? It's either yellow for macaroni and cheese or yellow for p p p p p p p You know what I mean. But we love blonde hair. I just don't have any myself. Because mine kind of looks like the other thing that you find in the potty. Ah, why am I saying this? All right, Cosmo the Clown looks really happy. And human Cosmo looks sad. And family, after all I already said about his hair, and even mine. We now know why he's frowning. Maybe you can turn your hair color to red and be a ketchup bottle next. Ah! Oh, who do we got here? The Queen of Gloinks! Oh, I love this character in the Amazing Digital Circus. But you know how I would love her more? And she turned into a human! Whoa, this is looking so cool! A human version of the Queen of Gloinks looks super intense. And her eyelashes like spiders because it wasn't bad enough that her hair looks like a giant rat's nest of snakes and ladders but now her eyeballs are filled with tears and spider webs too mrs queen of loinks ma'am can you make up your mind seriously girl i am a little bit confused okay her hair is macaroni and cheese i'm i mean yellow or Blonde. Ooh, and she got a bunch of different eyeballs stuck in there. Which I thought was bubblegum or candy, and I am wildly disappointed. Instead of having the queen of going skin, she has this really comfortable blankie. But obviously not as comfy as mine. Because mine has my face on it. And delicious chicken eggies. Seriously, family, go get one at shoplexy.com. It comes with a plushy pillow. Cuddly. And now we are moving on to... Ooh, the moon. I love the moon because the moon happens during nighttime and at nighttime you get all comfy inside of your bed with your pillow and blankie. How comfy can you get in the amazing digital circus? Mm, I'm not very sure. But honestly, probably not that comfortable. Just look at the moon as a human family. She looks so blue that it looks like her skin's about to fall off. She must be freezing. And we all know if you're freezing, you definitely can't get cuddly like this. So, adult moon from the Amazing Digital Circus, I suggest you go get yourself a cuddle nuggy plushie set at shoplexy.com. It's the only way for you to survive. Literally. And who do we have next? <gasps> oh, it's Kinger! I love Kinger! I love Kinger! He is 
it's one of my favorite characters in the whole circus. Yes, does he complain all the time and is literally scared of everything? But yes, does Kinger have the coolest crown on the top of his head that makes him royalty? Uh, yeah, he has that too. So honestly, family, what is more important, happiness or being royalty? I'm gonna go with the royalty. Mm, wait a sec. I actually think it's more important to be happy. <gasps> And human version of Kinger looks sad. Oh, man. Family, I thought Kinger in the circus is a boy, but Kinger as human version is a girl. Whoa, and there is a giant X through Kinger, so I am pretty sure that means he's canceled. Sorry, Kinger. Your cozy King robe was just not cozy enough. So honestly, I think I gotta take your spot. I will be the queener of the amazing digital circus. Only chicken nuggy blankies allowed. My family, look at this. Those were not the only transformations of the amazing digital circus. Because look at this girl right here. She drew some epic pictures of even more amazing digital circus transformations. And she turned them into humans too. The links for all of these videos we reacted to are in the description below. The first amazing digital circus character that we are transforming into human is Pomni. Oh man, I can already tell that this glow up transformation is gonna be amazing. All right, here we have an image of a very cutesy little girl. And it looks like she's holding a book bag, probably getting ready to go to school. <gasps> she has brown hair, just like Pomni. One eye is blue and one eye is red. Wait, is that the same as the real Pomni in the Amazing Digital Circus? Or did she just drink way too much Pepsi? It kind of looks like she went crazy. <gasps> and now let's give her some regular school clothing. Not some circus clothing. Change her circus hat out for a uh, cuddle baby nugget? The top of her head is yellow. Then we even gave Pomni glasses and some cool boots too. <gasps> Whoa! And ta da! We've transformed the amazing digital circus Pomni into a girl next door. She's adorable! I rate this transformation an 8.5 out of 10. And now let's see if we can find a 10 out of 10 transformation! I bet you we will. Family, comment down below! So excited! That's the secret word of today's video. And me and the brand new limited edition Cuddle Baby Nuggy Plush will heart your comments! Okay, okay, which character are we about to turn into a human next? <gasps> oh, man, I think it's Jax! You know, the purple bunny who is very sneaky and does a lot of bad things. Is Jax a good person or is he not? Family, I am not too sure. Actually, I'm kind of really sure. He's bad! Okay, but maybe only the Jax in the circus is bad. And maybe human version of Jax won't be so bad. Okay. Hey, let's see what he looked like. Oh, okay. We're going for a cool boy aesthetic with some fashionable clothes. Kind of slouchy. And apparently he even brought a snack to class. That really gives the I don't care vibes. Sorry, miss. I have no idea how to solve that algebraic equation in math. I am chewing on my potato chips. And honestly, the crunch is pretty loud. Can you talk louder? Or just stop talking so I can finish my potato chips. Thank you. All right, we are now coloring in Jax. Oh, and he has the same colors as Jax in the Amazing Digital Circus. His sweater is purple. His pants are pink. He even has overalls on too. <laughs> Look at his bunny rabbit slippers. I feel like I'm not sure if human version Jax has bunny ears on or if those are just attached to his headphones. But honestly, I think anything is possible. We live in such an exciting world. Why can't humans grow bunny ears on top of their heads? Oh, the transformation from animation to human is complete. And here we have Jax from the Amazing Digital Circus as a cool boy. Hey, human Jax, I love your sweater. Can you share some potato chips with me? Okay, okay, fine, bro, fine. I don't need any of your potato chips. Can you please stop popping away from me? I just wanted to talk. Oh my chicken nugget, I am so excited for this one, cuddle baby nuggy. Next up, we're doing one of my favorite characters, Ragatha. Ragatha is the super nice doll in the Amazing Digital Circus who tries to be Pomni's friend. But then after they become friends, they meet up with Kofmo and uh, seem to say things don't go as planned. Cause Ragatha almost oops. 
All right, let's see the transformation from Ragatha in the circus to Ragatha as a human. Oh, my chicken nugget. And she's already looking so cute already. Human version of Ragatha is adorable with curly red hair. One blue eyeball and one red. And she's even making a doll as a toy. Aw, Ragatha, you're so nice. You are probably making that toy for your brother or sister or maybe your friend. You are just so sweet. Puffy, on the other hand, who left you after Kokmo was trying to eat you. I don't know if she's as nice, but you, my sweet, sweet little Ragatha, you're perfect. Whoa! And look at the final transformation. I love her. And speaking of greedy Pomni, here we have Pomni opening up her mouth Close and shut. And family, Pompey is not eating food. Oh, no, no, no. She is eating money. Because apparently she doesn't only want to get rid of her friends. She also wants to get rid of your money, too. Stop it, Pompey. Don't steal my coins. How else am I going to be able to get the Cuddle Nuggy Pushy at Shopalitsu.com? Cheese. Uh, but not cha cha cheese. Uh, that's only what Baby Nuggy smells like. All right, if you want to learn how to make the money eating Pomni, then all you have to do is glue this cardboard box into one big box. Draw a giant picture of Pomni's head. Oh, 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 man. She be looking a little crazy. Then make a cut in the middle of Pomni's mouth and tape one side of her face to the big part of the box and tape the small part of her mouth to the other side. And then, family, when you open and close your cardboard box, whoa, you have a money-eating piggy bank. Crazy clown edition. And if you didn't already think that Pomni was crazy enough, look at this. Here you can make another crazy art piece of Pomni by folding up a paper in many different ways. I think this process is called origami making because it's making art and shapes out of paper. All right, once you're done folding your origami, then you gotta start drawing your picture of Pomni. Draw her on one side, and then another, and then draw her again on another side, another side, and... Ta-da! We have one crazy picture of Pomni that apparently knows how to dance. Go, Pomni! Go, Pomni! No matter what kind of dance moves you do, you can never dance your way out of the circus. Sorry, girl. Ooh, family. You know how I just said that you cannot get out of the Amazing Digital Circus? Well, I don't think the other characters of the circus believed me. Because look, here is a giant DIY maze made with all of the characters of the Amazing Digital Circus. And all of these characters are going to try and go through the maze, aka the circus. And they're going to try and find a way out. Family, comment down below what you think right now. Will these characters ever find a way out of the circus? Or will they actually be stuck in there for? For the rest of their lives. Oh man, I really hope they can find a way out. And Cuddle Baby Nuggy hopes they can too, so they can come to our slumber party. <gasps> Ooh, here we have a bunch of different DIY amazing digital circus stickers. <gasps> And this guy made a whole bunch. Whoa! And stuck them to the back of his phone. Sorry, sir. Just because you have the pictures of the characters on the back of the phone does not mean the characters can call for help. Because did you forget? They're stuck in the circus forever! But I do really like your stickers, though. And family, last but not least, these amazing digital circus characters are not just turning into humans today, but they're also turning into trading cards. You know, like Pokemon trading cards? This is super similar to that, except amazing digital circus characters. Here we have trading card Pomni. <gasps> Whoa, she looks so cool. And even has special powers. Oh, and then here we have Jax. He has 2,000 XP. Then we got Supal with only... 300 XP? Mm, probably because she complains all the time. <gasps> and then we got Gangle that has 140? What? That's all he has? Oh, man, he probably lost it all from crying all the time. Then we got Kinger with 300 XP. Okay, King. Ragatha with 1,000? She probably has so much because she's so nice. Then we got Kofmo with only 140 XP. Probably because he's evil. Whoa! Then we have Kane, the ringleader of the whole circus, with a giant number of 2,000 XP. Go, Kane, go! You are so strong. 
starting off with Pomni's Room of Fear. Oh, man, Billy, I am smiling right now, but I don't know if that's gonna last for long because this is a diorama of Pomni and the Amazing Digital Circus characters, and it's about to get creepy. <gasps> yep, there we got Pomni, and she is super scared in bed, hiding underneath her baby nuggy blankie that actually comes with the cuddle baby nuggy plush. Available at shoplexy.com. And family, I think we're gonna have to use this blankie to hold video. Cause it's only gonna get crazier from here. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 sir. What are you making? That is not. Ah! Cosmo, is it? Oh man, I think it was. And here we're making Gangle. Wait a second. Is he wrapped around Cosmo? <laughs> What's going on here? Gangle, aren't you supposed to be scared of the monsters, Gangle? But right now it looks like you're trying to strangle. So please get your ribbon off of him. Oh no, next up we have a hanging Zoopal. Why is her face on that rack like a clothes hanger? We get you are supposed to be colorful. But Zoopal, rainbows do not wear shoes. Oh, it's not the ones I see. Uh, what do we got next? Oh, whoa, 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 did you see that mouse? Where did it come from? Uh, it just bit off a piece of the wall and we replaced it with Kane and his weird looking dentures. Mmm, how delicious. I love when grandpa eats my room. And by the way, grandpa, the do not disturb sign was on. He just pops in and comes out of nowhere. Ooh, magical mirror that says Pomni on top. <gasps> oh, look who we're making next. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a purple bunny rabbit. It's a giant version of Jax. And a very mini version of Ragatha. And pack her up in a box just like a small toy. Add a sliced off king her head beside Pomni's bed table. And then boom, here we go. We have the amazing digital circus, Pomni Room of Fear. Wow, I love this place and I am definitely not, um, uh, scared. Oh man, who are we kidding, family? I'm hiding under the blankie forever, goodbye. And if you thought that room was creepy, oh, look at this. Here we have an amazing digital circus blind bag. And that means there are many different things inside that are all secrets. And family, this is not any regular schmegular blind bag. No, 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 no. Because in this blind bag, we have Jack's Pomni and um, whoever that little chicken nuggie is. And what we're gonna do today after we uh put on their faces. <laughs> okay, Jax. I think you lost something there, bro. And I am not just talking about losing your face. I am talking about losing your dignity. Because in the first Amazing Digital Circus episode, you are not funny. Unless you count when you were really bad at bowling and we laughed at you. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, we put on the Jack's face and now we're putting on the Pomni. Oh, which one is she? Obviously the one with candy canes as eyes. And then, um, I still don't really know who this is. I'm assuming it's Baby version of Pomni? Hold on a second. Baby version of Pomni. Did Pomni and Jax have a baby? Because if so, why wasn't I invited to the wedding? I am mad. Okay, we have another blind bag here, and oh, it's hair time. But family, as I was trying to tell you before, this is not a regular blind bag because the characters inside of this blind bag are gonna have many different pimples on them, and we <coughs> are gonna have to pop them. <laughs> I don't want to pop pimples. Hey, Pomni. What's up, girl? Oh, well, you're going to put on your hat now and your clown costume, too. Well, little cute Pomni, I am so happy for you. But not if I have to pop your pimple. I already have to do that to my mom's back enough. Put on your clothes and your shoes. Okay, stylish. And here we have Jax. We put on his uh, overalls and up. Uh, his really sad and painful face. Cause why does he look so upset now? Wait a second family, look at Pomni and baby Pomni too. They both look upset also. But why do you think that is? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, the amazing digital circus character have these pimples. And we need to pop them. Doctor, doctor, we need your help. We 
need all the medical tools that we can find to save these patients. Okay, first we're gonna start off with cleaning the infected area. But honestly, why does that look like school glue? And now they're doing something very, very sharp. Family, do not do this at home. This is for trained professionals only. And now here comes the crazy part. Are you ready? We are about to pop these pimples to save their tushies. Okay, palm knees first. Oh, what just happened? Oh no, we got rid of the pimple. And now she is squeaky clean. Okay, here, let's go for baby Pomni. Ah, what did I just hear? And why are these pimples coming off like stickers? Now we have some anti-infection cream. Put that all over and Pomni goes from angry to happy. Uh-oh, we just fixed Jax also. <laughs> Why does it wear like he's wearing a peach? I will never eat the fruit again. And now we went from angry Jax to happy Jax. And now we have a happy, loving family. Woohoo! They are happy and now we are depressed. That was crazy! All right, family, we saw a spooky digital circus. We saw a crazy digital circus. And now we're gonna look at babies. Cause the crazy digital circus are turning into those. No, family, that is not a tiny little peanut you see on the screen. That is baby Pomni. <gasps> Who is the cutest little thing ever? On the left, we have baby Pomni. And on the right, we have um, toddler Pomni. Oh my gosh, look how small she is. Her shoe size is the same size as a Tic Tac. And we got toddler Pomni, and she is already posing with her hand on her face. Pomni, not only do you look adorable, but you also look like my toast with jam in the morning. Half strawberry, half blueberry. And then when the two colors mix together, they make the beautiful shade of purple that look like your eyes. Either that or she's turning into a raisin. Can't really tell which one. And next up, we have another baby amazing digital circus character. Oh. <laughs> and I know who this one is. It's baby Kane. Because the image on the right is Kane with his tiny, tiny baby teeth. But honestly, they're not that tiny because it looks like it's literally covered up his whole body. Are we sure his name is Kane the ringleader? Or is it actually Toothy the tooth eater? And then here we have the toddler version of Kane. Oh, he's adorable. His hair looks like a marshmallow dipped in ketchup. Kane, what are you doing, bro? You have such limited food you could eat in the circus and you're gonna choose ketchup. Not only are you choosing ketchup, but you're also using it as a shampoo. No wonder you lost all your hair. Ketchup is only for hot dogs. Unless you wanna go bald bald. You know what I mean? All right, next up we have, I recognize that face mask from anywhere. Kinda looks like a face mask on top of a worm that a bird would eat for breakfast, but no family, that is not a bird's worm. That is Gangle. Oh, wait a second, but a really cute one. Gangle's face looks like regular Gangle's face, but then his body looks like a really cutely wrapped Christmas bow. Oh, he's even blushing too. But wait a second, look at toddler version of Gangle. Toddler version of Gangle is a girl and she looks really sad. Excuse me, Mrs. Toddler version of Gangle. Why are you crying? I know it's probably hard to wear half of a face mask all day. Don't worry, girl, you're still beautiful. You have really long hair and a really cute dress and probably a really great personality too. It doesn't matter you're covering half of your head with that mask. Cause if you were crying like that with Without the mask, then you would ruin your makeup. And I don't know about you, but ruining my makeup is a lot more sad than a mask that makes you practically invisible. Ooh, next to the digital circus character as a baby is... <gasps> mm, probably my least favorite Amazing Digital Circus character. We have... <coughs> Mo. And even as a baby, it seems like he is a... Mm -hmm. No. Kind of looks like a very tiny bowling ball. But look at Kofmo as a toddler. Oh, he looks like a cute ray of sunshine or 
a very cheesy sun chip. And even baby and toddler Kofma were both already ready to party. They are wearing their party hats. And the one wish they have for their birthday is to not turn into an evil abstracted monster. Spoiler alert, family. That wish did not come true. Ah, Kofmo! Nobody invited you to this party. Dip. Oh, and here's all the cute, amazing digital circus babies! Tell me which baby circus character is your favorite? Comment down below. And next up, we're looking at the amazing digital circus characters. <gasps> but falling in love? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on a second, family. Okay, here we have a computer that makes really cool drawings of whatever you like. And in this case, we are drawing the amazing digital circus characters. But not just any regular type of amazing digital circus characters. Oh, no, no, no. We are drawing the amazing digital circus characters in love. And that means we are going to draw two different versions of each character. Character. One character is a boy, and the other character is a girl. And in this first case, I'm pretty sure the character we are drawing is Kinger. So what we have to do here is we have to draw these characters on the computer. Then after we perfectly molded them and perfectly sculpted them, they are ready to be printed. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's them right there. There is Kinger. And beside him is Queener. Family, not only are these characters in love, but they're also humans. The amazing digital circus characters turn into humans and fall in love. Oh man, this is going to be crazy. Okay, so we have printed did the characters out from the computer and now we have these they are just gray they're plain and what we gotta do next is paint them and apparently scratch them too because that makes them more smooth oh here comes the fun part we are paint paint painting and this is the boy version of kinger with his giant king crown all right we painted on his face we painted on his eyes Ooh, and now we're painting not the cheese on top of his head that's his hair <gasps> okay i guess his eyes are green just like mine and i guess his mouth is non-existent and look at his crown his crown is painted blue or is that purple uh i think kinger and the amazing digital circus is the color purple so i'm assuming a human version of kinger would also be purple and now add on the spots just like a cheetah because honestly if you are stuck in the amazing digital circus at one point you gotta act like an animal add on the flower in his hand. I think I know what that flower's for. It's for Queener. Oh, and that's who we're painting right now. We just painted on her beautiful brown hair. And now we gave her her beautiful brown eyes. Ooh, and her pretty smile. And now here comes the best part. We get to paint her crown. Ooh, and her crown is red. The same color as her robe. Okay, Queener. I love your fashion style. So Queener is done. And also Kinger. And let's see them fall in love. Oh, I love it. Kinger got Queener a flower. And they will both fall in love and get married. Till death do them part. Or till amazing digital circus do them apart. But I don't think they can ever get apart even if they wanted to. Stanley, did you forget? They're stuck in the circus forever. And family, Kinger is not the only character getting a transformation today. Because now we have our girl Pomni and our boy Kane. And they are getting a little bit of a, how you say, makeover. So here we are back on the computer doing our drawings for these characters. And now we have somebody who looks a lot like Pomni. We also have somebody who looks a lot like Kane. But spoiler alert, family, these are not going to be the regular versions of the characters. Because today, they both wanted to try something new and Kane is gonna dress like Pomni and Pomni is gonna dress like Kane. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Oh look, we just printed out all of the different shapes for these characters and now we are starting to paint. Okay, coloring in Pomni's hair. Oh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. Now we're drawing her in the candy cane eyeballs that she always has. Here we have Kane's black hat and his red circus leader suit with his black boots and big Kane. Oh, <laughs> wait a second, family. Is that the reason why Kane's name is Kane? Because he is literally holding a cane. And now let's see Kane holding his cane. Oh, wait a second. That's not Kane holding his cane. That is Pomni holding his cane. And I kind of love it. Okay, here we have Pomni's hat, but... 
Wait a second. Pomni's hat is not red and blue anymore. It's green and blue? And Pomni's jacket is not blue and red anymore. It's blue and green. And now we're gonna make Kane's big, big teeth. That apparently now he has braces. And now he's wearing Pomni's suit, but different colors. Whoa! And these are the final results. Family, do you love these amazing digital circus transformations? If you do, comment down below. I love them. That is the secret word of today's video. And only true family members will comment that down below. That means I will know you stuck around till the very end of today's video. If you do, you're the best. Oh, and it looks like from these drawings, our first Smiling Critter superhero is gonna be Catnap. Family, comment down below which one of these Smiling Critters is your favorite because I'm gonna tell you right now, mine is Catnap. Definitely not Catnap. Family, have you smelled his breath? Not only does it look like moldy ketchup, but the red smoke also reminds me about how many times I burned my chicken nuggies. Tried to cook them by myself. <laughs> Goodbye, chicken nuggies. And goodbye, smiling critters, when Catnap breathes his breath. Both are equally as sad. <gasps> Whoa, family, look at this. This is our first smiling critter superhero. We drew Catnap, but as a human. Wow, he looks so cool. He's wearing a purple hood, a purple sweater, purple gloves, and purple shoes. Family, is this what the great version of Spider-Man would look like? I've seen those webbed hands before. Spidey. You ain't fooling nobody. But you definitely are putting people to sleep. Whoa, who do we have next here? At first, it looks like we were making a winter snowman. Oh, but now we see that it's Picky Piggy. You know, the pig guy that likes to eat a lot. But wait a second. Look at this superhero human version of Picky Piggy. That's not a guy. That's a cute girl. Aww. And just like the cartoon version of Piggy Piggy that is an actual pig, the human girl version is also eating an apple. Ooh. And instead of having an apple badge on her chest, this superhero of Piggy Piggy has her own apple dress, which I think is a lot more beautiful. Oh, and she also has pink hair, just like I used to have. Family, do you remember me when I had my pink hair like this? If you do, comment down below and I will heart your comment. All right, family, which superpower do you think Piggy Piggy has? Do we think it's invisibility? Being able to run at lightning speed? Or, 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 do you think it's the superpower of being able to eat as much food as you want in the whole world without ever getting full? <laughs> I think it's that one. Next up, who do we got? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Bubba Bubba Fint. This is the blue elephant smiling critter with the light bulb on his chest. I'm pretty sure he has a light bulb because he's super happy and cute all the time. But let's see the superhero version of Bubba Bubba Fint. What do you think he looks like as a human? Okay, there we have Bubba Bubba Fint. That's the picture on the left. The very tiny smiling critter. But look at him as a human. He has fluffy blue hair, a big white jacket, and a finger that is sticking up like this. I think getting ready to pick his nose. Baba Baba Finn, you're supposed to be a superhero, not a gold digger. That's just gross. He also has some headphones on too. What kind of music do you think he's listening to? Pop music, country music, jazz music? Oh. Are we kidding, family? He's obviously listening to metal music. It's the same stuff his light bulb's made out of. All right, who is this? I'm not very sure. What kind of superpower are they gonna have? I don't know. <gasps> Wait a second, I know who that is. That's a bunny rabbit. And he is green. His name is Hoppy Hop. Oh, but wait a second. Family, look at Hoppy Hopscotch as a human. That's not a boy. That's a girl. Does that mean Hoppy Hopscotch in Poppy Playtime 3 is also a girl? Wow. And they both have matching lightning badges on their chest. And since they have lightning bulbs on their chest, do you think that's what her superpower is? Lightning speed or super fast hops? Or maybe she's able to teleport to different restaurants super duper fast, quicker than anybody else can. 
also that she never has to wait for food. Or in Hoppy Hopscotch's case, since they're a bunny, never has to wait for more carrots. Mmm, Hoppy Hopscotch, I love carrots! That is definitely what I am ordering from Uber Eats. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm ordering pizza. Maybe with a bunny rabbit on top. Wow, look at all the smiling critters as humans. <gasps> they all have so many magic powers. Family, quick, 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 comment down below which one of these superhero smiling critters is your favorite. Because I am having a very hard time picking. And you need to help me. Next up, we have these smiling critters, but in love. Whoa, family. I didn't know the smiling critters were in love with each other. We're all supposed to be brothers and sisters or friends at a giant sleepover at an evil abandoned toy factory. I thought sleepovers were supposed to be fun. Sleepover at an abandoned toy factory sounds like the opposite. Okay, okay, here we have Dog Day and who is holding them? Oh, it's Catnap. Wait a second, Catnap looks super happy, but Dog Day actually doesn't. Dog Day looks scared. Oh, maybe because Catnap wrapped him up and now is holding catnap hostage. Ah, uh, family, I do not think this is what love is supposed to look like. Love is supposed to make you happy. And this just makes Dog Day look like he's about to pee his pants. Ah, uh, catnap, catnap, police. I know you might be in love with Dog Day because who we kidding? Who doesn't love dogs? But um, just because you love something doesn't mean you gotta run them up in rope maybe you should try wrapping them up in um chocolate instead or you can cut off all of these ropes and go drink some hot cocoa together anything is better than this all right that was our first couple in love but now let's see the second <gasps> oh i recognize that smiling critter face it's not only a unicorn but it's crafty corn and family look at all the hearts around crafty corn's head that means she's in love Aw, crafty corn you look so happy and now let's see who you are in love with <laughs> Wait a second, family. Is that Dog Day again? But I thought Catnap was just in love with Dog Day. Not Candy Corn. Oh, no, 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 family. We have a big problem then. If Catnap and Crafty Corn are in love with Dog Day, then who is Dog Day gonna choose? <laughs> Dog Day. Looks like you have a lot of people in love with you. But only one person can truly have your heart. I wonder who it is. Oh, look, family, it's somebody else in love. They have heart eyes and their eyeballs <laughs> floating above their head. A moon on their chest, but not a full moon, only half. Oh, and look, it's dog day again, but he looks so happy. Wait a second, family. This is dog day and catnap, and I think this means we got our answer. At first, we didn't know is dog day in love with catnap, or is Dog Day in love with Crafty Corn? But now from this picture, I think we know who Dog Day chose. And they chose Catnap. And clearly Catnap is super happy about that because they are smiling and opening their mouth bigger than how big I open my mouth when I am waiting for somebody to feed me ice cream. Ah, where's the ice cream? So nobody ever feeds me ice cream. Well, congrats, Catnap and Dog Day. I am very happy for you, for the happy couple. It looks like you are gonna have a happy life filled with lots of love, dog bones, and dirty cat litter. Mmm, sounds delicious. Oh, holy chicken nugget, wait a second. What is this? I thought Catnap and Dog Day were only in love. Family, it looks like they are more than just in love because Catnap and Dog Day are kissing. Wow, Catnap and Dog Day are kissing. This is crazy. They are so in love and so cute. Catnap is holding him close and closing her eyes. But she also has a little bit of blush on her cheeks. And is it just me or did her color go from purple to a very pretty pink? Is that what happens when you fall in love? All of the colors on your body go even prettier. Because I want that to happen to me. <gasps> and then we have Dog Day who's just like, oh, uh, what's happening to me? Catnap, are we kissing right now? Because I don't know what's going on. Yes, Dog Day, you are kissing Catnap. And whether you know it or not, y'all are about to get 
get married. <laughs> Can I come to your wedding? And family, obviously, since the smiling creators are in love and getting married, don't they need a place to live? And I am not talking about an evil abandoned toy factory. Okay, so to do this and to follow our plan, we can't just get a house in the real world somewhere. No way. We are gonna find a house somewhere even better, even more cool, and much easier to find. And that's in Legoland. Because family, we are making all of the smiling critters out of Lego. Ooh, okay, first up we have Bubba Bubba Fins. I know that's him because he is blue and looks like an elephant. Then we got the pink piggy piggy with an apple on her chest. Crafty Corn the unicorn with a green flower. Um, why is that a green flower? I thought it's supposed to be rainbow. Okay, then we have the orange dog day who has a sunshine on his chest. Oh, and the green hoppy hopscotch with the lightning bolt and the craziest character, purple catnap. Oh, family, wait a sec. I forgot about Bobby Bear Hug and Kicking Chicken too. Whoa, look at all of the characters. They all look so cool made out of Lego. I know I do. Okay, so apparently in Legoland, things go a little different. In Legoland, Bubba Bubba Finn and Picky Picky are in love. Crafty Corn and Dog. They are in love. Puppy Hopscotch and Catnap are in love. Wait, what? And Bobby Bear Hug and Kickin' Chicken are in love. Whoa, family. The Lego world do be crazy. And now comes the fun part about being in love. Building a family home. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so here we gotta make the homes for these smiling critters. We're starting with the base, the gray bottom, the blue wall. <gasps> A pink leg. Oh, oh, teacher, pick me. I know who it is. We are making Kissy Missy out of Lego. At first, it kind of looked like Picky Piggy. Then I realized that she is much too big and much too furry. And then here we have a little Lego man that is supposed to be player. Oh, Wait a sec, did we even finish? Uh, okay, I think before we finish that Lego sculpture, we are going to make the gas mask Lego sculpture. Uh, okay, so we have the wooden, no, that's not wood on the wall, is that bricks? Okay, we got brick wall, concrete floor, some boxes and some planks of wood. Then we got player and the gas mask. And family, I'm gonna show you what all of these creations look like at the very end. But now it's time to make our house for the smiling. Critters. Ooh, okay, this house is so much bigger than the other two homes we just made because, family, there are a lot of smiling critters. So, obviously, they need a big space. Okay, so we got the classic Poppy Playtime colors on the wall. Wait a sec, what is this? Another colorful wall? <gasps> and here are the smiling critters again! Okay, Picky Piggy, Crafty Corn, Kickin' Chicken, Poppy Hopscotch. Um, family, I'm starting to get nervous that they're not gonna like their new home. There we have Cat Nap dog day, Bubba Bubba Fint, and Bobby Bear Hug. Okay, smiling critters, um, don't judge this house until we're fully done because we gotta add you inside of it before you can judge. But family, something tells me we gotta make this house even bigger. So let's make this floor even more gigantic. Whoa. Okay, that Lego floor is so big. This Lego wall is so tall. And now we're even making a brand new room. Room? I don't think we're making a Poppy Playtime Lego house anymore. I think we're making a Poppy Playtime Lego mansion. All right, next up, what are we building and which smiling critter is it for? Ooh, okay, this is the new part of the mansion and this has red floor and red walls. So if I had to guess, I would say that this mansion room is for Bobby Bear Hug because he is also the color red. Okay, we just put up the walls. Now, what are we building? Is that a couch? A sofa? A TV? Oh, that kind of looked like some flowers. Okay, okay, we're almost done and we're about to find out which smiling critters this room is for. Maybe it's for Crafty Corn because Crafty Corn also has a flower on her chest. That's her badge. But I really do be thinking it's for Bobby Bear Hug. Oh, wait a sec. That's not Bobby Bear Hug. Family, this is... Oh, I don't even want to say it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, this room is for Cat. And now are you ready to see our final Lego transformations for the other characters too? Here is the Kissy Missy Lego character that we just made. Whoa! And there's even Lego Poppy on her shoulder too. Hey, Poppy. 
like your hair. Then here is the gas mask one we already made also. Ooh, the gas mask looks really creepy like this. And then family, here is the room for all the smiling critters. Wow. Oh yeah, we can't forget about dog day in the dog house. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I told you I can't save you. Maybe ask a German shepherd or something. Might have better luck there. All right, family, in today's video, I told you we're looking at bluey but humans. So look at this. We are going to transform all of our favorite bluey characters into that. Whoa, look at all of bluey's friends. There's Indy, Muffin, Jean Luc, and here we got Chloe. But look, Chloe's turning into a girl. Oh, no, 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 not Coco, too. Coco, you are so cute as a puppy. Oh, but even cuter as a human. Your hair looks like a bunch of different pieces of cotton candy fluff. And now I want to eat it. Uh-oh, honey. What are you going to look like as a human? Ooh, a very smarticle girl. And look at Indy. Indy looks so cool. She looks like she is happy for peace and love. Muffin's turning into a very stylish girl with some marshmallows attached to her head. Oh, uh. Wait a second. I think that's her hair. Still gorgeous. And then we have Jean-Luc. Oh, and he's waving at us. Or maybe he's waving to Bluey. Because we know he's in love with her and not us. Oh, man. All right, family. Those were just some examples of the Bluey characters turning into humans. But now we're going to make even crazier transformations that are a lot more detailed and a lot more cool. Because look at this. Our first transformation is none other than Bluey! The cutest girl around. Okay, okay. To start off our Bluey transformation turning into a human, we gotta change her from a dog to a girl. And look what we're doing right now. We are drawing not with a pencil and paper, but we're drawing with a paint program on the computer. Whoa! Look at the outline! And Bluey is starting to look like a human! Okay, we got a blue top, some Hawaiian-looking board shorts, some sandals, and she even has blue hair! And now let's see the final transformation. Whoa! Bluey, is that you? You turned into a human! Do you want to be best friends? And first thing first, as your best friend, I'm going to tell you to put on some sunscreen! Because, girl, your nose is red just like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You're burnt. Our next Bluey character transformation is <gasps> Bingo! And we are about to put Bingo right here. Oh, uh, did you see? For a second, she was beside Bluey. Okay, okay, human Bluey. I'm sorry, you gotta go. Because we are not done our transformation to Bingo as a human. All right, family, Bingo is Bluey's younger sister. And that's why in this picture, she has to look younger than Bluey. So she's a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. Oh, and her eyes are as big as two giant swirly lollipops. You know, the ones you get at Disneyland. And now let's color in her clothing, put on her overalls, and... Oh, our transformation is complete! And here we have Bingo as a human! I love her! All right, all right, we gotta continue to our next Bluey character transformation. And it's Muffin! Oh, I love the name Muffin, mostly because it reminds me of a real muffin that I get to eat. But this is not the kind of muffin that you want to put in your mouth. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Unless you want Muffin to put you in their mouth after. Because they about to bite you. All right, Muffin, we know you're sassy. We know you're cute. But let's see now what you look like as a human. Oh! family i'm so excited if you're excited for this transformation smash like on today's video it will bring you extra good luck and also bring luck to all your pets at home like your doggies or your cats or even your fish whoa look at muffin as a human she is wearing a tutu muffin are you getting ready to go to a dance recital or are you just trying to tell us you're a princess because honestly i'm good for both tell me where you want to go girl and i will take you mostly because i'm scared of what you'll do if i say no but um anyways i'll still take you and family look at this final transformation for muffin she's so cute and right after muffin we have socks <laughs> 
A dog's name that is socks is so silly. Mostly because when you think of a socks, you think of something stinky. Kind of like Baby Nuggies type B, but we'll talk about that later. Oh, and socks is the tiniest human transformation that we've made so far. They are so tiny. They're just like a baby. Aw, socks, look at you. Are you even able to walk yet? Because boy, you are on the ground. And I don't see any shoes on your feet. We got stripe, stripe, stripe in the t-shirt. And the socks transformation is complete. <laughs> oh, what my chicken nugget. Okay, next up we have the Coco transformation. And she is one of my favorite characters. Mostly because she's the color pink. And she's also super duper fluffy and super duper funny. I love Coco in the Bluey cartoon because she is so silly. And she's also one of Bluey and Bingo's good friends. Ooh. Look at this human transformation. Coco has very poofy and curly hair. She's wearing a beautiful pink top and a blue skirt. Pink shoes to match her hair and ta-da! The Coco transformation is complete. And she is stylish. And also still looks like cotton candy, but <laughs> I'll stop talking about that. Hey, Snickers, what's up, boy? Thinking of things that I want to eat. A Snickers chocolate bar. But don't worry, family. This is not a chocolate bar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is a cute little wiener dog. And he is about to transform into a human. <gasps> Whoa. Snickers is the tallest human transformation that we've done so far. Probably because he's super long and tall. So as a human, he's also going to be super long and tall. He's also wearing the same hat that Snickers wears in the Bluey cartoon. And looks just as sweet as him too because here's the final transformation whoa he looks epic family comment down below bluey wow as the secret word of today's video and i'll heart your comment hey judo what's up i love your blue and yellow headband and i really hope that your human transformation also is wearing a blue and yellow headband Ooh, what color clothes are you gonna wear girl what kind of eye color are you gonna have your eye color is blue, just like your blue headband. Whoa, I love it. Okay, now we get a color in your clothes. And it's the same color as Judo's fur as a puppy. And her skirt matches her headband too. And here's the final transformation. Wow, that's so cool. Next up, we have Jack, another one of Louie's friends at school. And we're about to see his transformation now, too. Ooh, Jack is saluting with his hands on his face. He's saying, yep, yep, Bluey and Bingo, I am here as a human. Do you want to be friends? Jack's t-shirt is the same color as Jack's fur as a puppy. And he's wearing some cool boy jeans. And wait a second, is that a green hat on his head? Kind of reminds me of a green olive. And oh, family, look at all the human transformations of Bluey. Whoa, comment down below which one of these transformations was your favorite. And here we have a couple more transformations too. Was that Bandit? Socks and Muffin? Whoa, these are all so cool. Wait a second, was that Chili and her friend Juno too? <gasps> Chili's mom. Whoa, so many transformations. And here we have the full healer family. There's Chili, there's Bandit. Ah, he's old like a dad. And then we have Bingo. Aww. And Bluey. What a happy little human family. All right, family. Next up, we're going to learn how to make some amazing Bluey art out of things that you can find at home. All right, this first one is a Bluey character that you can make at home by using a toilet paper roll. All you need is a toilet paper roll and a couple different colors of cardboard. Then when you cut out those pieces of cardboard, you, you glue them around the toilet paper roll and you have a Bluey toilet paper figure. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't smell like a toilet though. That would not be good. 
All right, family, here we have someone drawing a very large picture of Bluey. If you ever wanted to draw him on a paper or at school, here is how you do it. You have a piece of paper and then you start making a rectangle shape, two triangle shapes on the top, another rectangle shape for his nose and two circles for his eyes. Add on his arms and legs. And don't forget his tail. And ta-da! You have a picture of Bluey! But family, here comes the next silliest art piece of today. We are about to learn how to make a Bluey sock puppet. Okay, for this one, what you'll need is a blue sock, a couple pieces of cardboard, some scissors, and some glue. You gotta cut out these specific shapes of cardboard and then glue them together. Cut out two different circles for the eyeballs. And now glue them to your sock. And you're all done. I feel like you can do the same thing with all the other Bluey characters too. Like Coco, Bluey, Rusty, or any of your favorite characters. Wait a second, lady. What if you have a piece of pizza there? And why are you topping it with very specific toppings? And whoa! I know why they made all of those toppings. Because we made a bluey pizza. <laughs> I hope it doesn't taste like dog. But family, watch this next thing that we're about to do. If you love Bluey and you also love playing in the sand, you are going to love this. Because here we have very special containers that look like different Bluey characters. Like Coco, Bluey, Bingo too. And we're about to fill these containers with all of these different color sands to make our very own Bluey sand art. Uh-oh. And it looks like Coco's first. Here we're pouring in the pinky red sand. Sand. That's the same color as Coco. <gasps> Ooh. And we're mixing it with some white sand. Then more red sand. More white sand again. <gasps> now some blue sand. Family, look at all the different layers of colors. That looks so cool. It's like a tie-dye t-shirt. Or a rainbow. Hey, Bingo. You're up next. And family, for Bingo, we're pouring in some yellow sand. Then some orange sand. More yellow sand. More orange. More yellow, more orange. Wow! And our bingo sand creation is complete. He looks like an orange creamsicle popsicle. <gasps> Next up, we got our girl Bluey. So obviously, we gotta pour in some blue sand for her. So we got some white sand, then some blue sand, then some more white sand, more blue, more white, more blue. And we made Bluey! Hey, Lucky, how you doing, bro? I know that you're the color yellow. So we're gonna put in a bunch of different yellow sand for you. Ugh. And apparently you have a little bit of snot in that nose of yours. So I guess we'll put in a little bit of green sand too. Top it off with more yellow sand and ta-da! We have Lucky! Oh, and here we have Chloe, the black and white Dalmatian. So we are putting in a whole bunch of white sand for her. And here we have all of our bluey sand art creations. Family, comment down below which one's your favorite. I like Coco's. Hey family, if you were ever wondering how to make your very own Bluey figurines, we can also do that too. Here we have the whole healer family of Chili, Bandit, Bluey, and Bingo. And we're gonna use this paint to paint these figurines to look exactly like your favorite characters. Okay, first up, we're starting off with the baby who's Bingo. And I think uh, we're coloring the bottom green because maybe Bingo is standing in grass. Then we color in the fur that's orange and the eyeballs. <gasps> And ta-da! Bingo's done! Then for Bluey, we gotta take... Oh, okay. Some more green for the ground. And then a whole bunch of blue for the fur. Polka dot the eyeballs and... Whoa! It's Bluey too! <gasps> Next up is Chili, the mommy! And she has the same color for us, Bingo. So you're gonna do basically the same thing that you did for her. Ah! And they look so cute! And last up, we have Bandit! Who is a lot of the same color as Bluey. <gasps> and they're finished. Those were so cool and so easy. And like you can make these at home. And now family, since you made it to the very end of today's video, I have a special surprise for you. This girl right here is a very good artist and she is going to try and make a Bluey transformation with chalk. Oh man, look at all this blue chalk. She's drawing it outside on the pavement. Ooh, and she's mixing all the different colors together. 
more blue, more legs, more arms. Girl, are you done? Cause I can't wait any longer. I need to see this. Now she's outlining Bluey cause her picture is almost done. And family, I can already tell that this is going to look amazing. Oh, she's signing the image cause she's done. And now family, are you ready for the final transformation? In three, two, one. Whoa! It looks amazing! All right, family, here we are turning the trolls into humans. Because of the movie trolls, they're either trolls or evil monsters like Velvet and Veneer. And oh, look at that, family. <laughs> Speaking of evil things, that's Velvet! In the small little picture, that is what Velvet looks like in the actual Trolls Band Together movie. But look at the big picture right beside her. That's Velvet, but as a human. Look, family. We're transforming Velvet from cartoon evil girl to, um, human. Uh, oh, wait a second. Still evil girl. But at least as a human, she looks cute, though. Family, I don't know about you, but Velvet's really big, poofy green hair kind of reminds me of the pillow. If I had hair like that, I would put my hair over my head and say goodbye, everyone. I'm going to bed. Because the only thing my giant hair does to me when I sleep is accidentally go inside of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then I choke on it. <laughs> Ew. Yucky hair. Why can't it taste like chocolate? Just like how you look. Oh, but look at that, family. We're almost done our velvet to human transformation. Are you ready for the final results? In three, two, one. <gasps> Oh, Velvet, I have the same facial expression as you. Hand on the mouth, thingies all folded. Cause what the chicken nugget are we looking at? She looks so good. Maybe human version of Velvet won't try and steal us. A uh, next. Next up, we have another evil character from Trolls Band Together. And no, family, I am not talking about Branch's weird green fuzzy vest. That thing's a whole other problem in itself. But we are talking about something else green and evil. And that's Veneer. In the small little circle, that is the real picture of Veneer in the movie. And look at this big picture right beside him to the right. <gasps> that's Veneer turning into a human. Oh, peekaboo. I see you, Veneer as a human. You're looking kind of cool, bro. Purple suspenders, yellow shirt, green hair, and a pink earring. Family, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought Veneer was auditioning to go into a boy band. But, uh, wait a second. Actually, isn't he technically in a boy band in the movie? Because Felvin and Veneer are trying to be pop stars. But they have no talent, so they have to steal trolls. Sorry, Floyd. I wish I could have saved you, bro, but, uh, I didn't want to get in trouble. And look at this, family. Veneer is finally finished. Whoa, Veneer is a human. And he says, mm, now that I can see better, Velvet, I don't think I want to be your brother anymore. You're mean, bro. Now I see very clear. And family, who else do we see? Ooh, I see Poppy. Because Poppy is our next Trolls character that we are transforming from troll into human. Small circle is Poppy as a troll. We love her like this. Her hair is beautiful. She has the amazing flower headband on her hair. But wait a second, family. Look to the right side of that image. <gasps> I see a girl. I see a human. I see a girl human version of Poppy. Because this girl has beautiful strawberry pink hair. <gasps> Ooh, a very nice red checkered dress. Oh, she still has a cute flower headband in her hair. And look at that, family. Do you see what's in her face? It's a pink microphone. Because Poppy is a really good singer. Family, I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end of the movie or anything, but Poppy may or may not be a part of the band after. Don't worry. You already knew that. Poppy, you are stunning. Next up, we got ba 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 Branch. Hey, Branch. What up, bro? I think today is the day that you finally turn into a human. I know you like being a troll and all, but bro, uh, aren't you kind of scared? Because family trolls are about this tall, and all it takes is one animal or one human to accidentally... Step on their face. And then, family, you don't got a troll anymore. You got a squished roll of bread. That's soggy like a mushed up blueberry. Nobody wants to eat that. 
Okay, Branch as a troll is in the small circle on the left. <gasps> and Branch as a human is on the right. <gasps> Whoa, look at him. He has blue hair, blue eyes, a jacket that looks like blue cow polka dots. Uh, Branch, you're supposed to be blue. You're not supposed to go moo. Come on now, bro with the program. Okay, okay. Don't worry, family. We're coloring in his jacket even more now, so everything is turning okay. It went from blue moo to rainbow you. And now he has a blue shirt too. Ooh, with some triangles on it. Outline branch. We're almost done. And now, family, the transformation is finally complete. <gasps> Look at branch as a human. Whoa, he looks so cool. So cute. These are all of the final transformation of Trolls Band Together turning into humans. Humans. Which transformation was your favorite? Transformation number one, two, three, or four. Comment down below. All right, family. Next up, we're transforming the Sanrio world into humans. Oh, I am so excited for this one because I love all of the Sanrio characters. And first up, we have these two cute little twins up top. Family, do you know who they are? <gasps> They're the little twin stars. They are two little twins, one girl, one boy, and they are the cutest little things ever. And you're about to see them transform into a human right now. Okay, the small little circles, you already know that's the cartoon version of them. <gasps> but look at the big picture version of this drawing. We have a beautiful girl and a uh, angry boy. Excuse me, bro. Why are you so mad? Are you mad at your sister for stealing the last chocolate chip cookie again? Because I don't know how many times we got to tell you, bro. You can't eat them. You, my friend, are allergic to chocolate. So that means forever and ever until the end of time, whenever you get chocolate bars, I have to eat them. Sorry, bro. I don't make the rules. Don't get mad at me. <gasps> Bubblegum hair for the little twin star. And look, family. She's even holding a star wand, too. She has a ribbon around her neck and some pinky red eyes. She even has a really pretty headband. Oh, but look at her brother. He don't look too happy. He also looks very hungry. And y'all already know what he's thinking in that brain. We want chocolate. So sorry, little twin stars. I don't think today is gonna be a star shine of a day. I think it's gonna be more of a gloomy, dark kind of day. Because the moon is dark and gray and so is chocolate. That's just life. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we have another Sanrio character that we're transforming into humans. This one, family, I think you probably know who it is, but maybe I'll let you guess. The picture of the Sanrio character is in the small little circle on the left. He's a tiny little dude. His name rhymes with Uheyama, because family, his name is Gudeidama. <laughs> Look how cute he is. <gasps> and look at him turning into a human on the right. Aw, wait, he's so cute. He is a little boy with blonde hair and yellow pajamas. And it looks like he just woke up from a very long nap. <gasps> just like me because I am ready to go to bed. So if anybody has any lullabies they would like to sing to me. <laughs> Go ahead. My ears are waiting. Okay, good day, Dama. I think it's time for you to sleep too. But you are so worked over sleepy, bro. And oh, you're making me tired too. And we still have more transformations to do. Next up, we have one of the cutest kitties in the whole world. Oh, family. This is a cute kitten called Mucle Dreamy. And she is a cat from the Sanrio world. You can see what the kitty looks like in the small circle on the left. But look over here to the right. <gasps> it's Mucle Dreamy, but as a girl. And family, she has her hands out kind of like a cat. Like, Bleh. because cats have claws and they like to scratch people with them. Hopefully, the human version doesn't do that too. <gasps> Whoa, family, look at her hair. Her hair is purple, just like Mugo Dreamy's fur. And just like Mugo Dreamy's little bow on her head, she has pink headphones and a pink bow on her chest. Wait, look at her cheeks. They have two little hearts on them. Oh, I love it so much. She looks so cute. But her mouth be looking a little sus, though. Because I don't know about you, family, but that don't look like a regular human mouth. It kind of be looking like an animal mouth. And I think that animal is ready for lunch. Ah, family, run, run! Before the Mugle 
dreamy cat eats you. She thinks you're cat food. Probably because you smell like some, but that is a conversation for later. Tuxedo, tuxedo, tuxedo. Family, do you know who this Sanrio character is? His name is Tuxedo Sam, and he's a cute little penguin. Aw, just look at him. The cute little penguin is in the small little circle to the left, but now Tuxedo Sam is transforming into a human, and we're about to see what he looks like. <laughs> Tuxedo Sam has that cute little hat on the top of his head. It kind of looks like a squishy marshmallow because it's so small. But don't worry, family. That hat does absolutely nothing. Does it cover him from the rain? No. Does it cover him from the sun? Mm -mm. But does it look really cool and make him look super fashionable? Oh, yeah, family. And that's why we wear it. Look at Tuxedo Sam as a human. <gasps> Wait, he looks so nice. He also kind of looks like he knows how to drive a boat. Because human Tuxedo Sam's hat is way bigger than cartoon Tuxedo Sam's hat. And the human version's hat looks like like a sailor's hat. He said, hey girl, wanna come right on my boat? And we say, no, thank you, stranger. I'll say no. Because going on a boat with somebody we don't know is dangerous. And I would rather go swimming with my mom. Here are these Sanrio characters transforming into human. Person number one, two, three, or four family, which one was your favorite? Comment down below. And family, since you made it to the very end of today's video, we have bonus transformations for you today. And these transformations are also Sanrio characters. <gasps> Whoa! But they're even more rare. The first transformation we have for you today is Bots Maru. Look at him! <laughs> In the small little circle picture, that is what he looks like as a cartoon. He has his mouth wide open, his tongue out like this, and I think he's either trying to make fun of us or going in for a kiss ah! no thank you bots maru i don't have a boyfriend or anything but i just don't want to kiss you wow look at the human version of bots maru he also has his tongue out just like the cartoon but instead of holding his mouth open he has his hands like this because he's saying hey girl do you like my tongue i got an extra red today from eating a red strawberry lollipop Pop. So if you come a little closer, maybe you can smell it. No, thank you, bro. I'll eat my own lollipop. <gasps> Family, look at this. One of the rarest Sanrio characters of them all. It's Hello Kitty. We are transforming the cutest, the loveliest little Hello Kitty into a human. Oh, in this small circle, it's the cartoon version of Hello Kitty. The one we all know and recognize. But look at the big picture beside her to the right. It looks like a girl, but that's not any regular girl. It's Hello Kitty as a human. Whoa. Oh, she looks so good. So cute. Her eyes are even blue like the sky. Her arms look like red and white polka dots, kind of like a ladybug. And her bow tie is so big on the top of her head. You would think it's gonna make her fall over with it. But that thing looks heavy. Heavy just like her long, luscious brown hair. Ooh, hello kitty. I didn't know you were a brunette. To be honest, I thought your hair was gonna be white like my grandma's. But that's okay, girl. You don't gotta be shy about that. All colors of hair are beautiful. <gasps> no way, no way. One of my favorite Sanrio characters. <gasps> Next up is My Melody. Aw, look. Look at the tiny little picture of My Melody in the circle. <gasps> She's like, hey, guys. Didn't see you there. You caught me out of super awesome time. Because I am being held up by... My Melody as a human. <gasps> and she's also super duper beautiful. And her hair looks like giant circles of cotton candy. Oh my chicken nugget. This My Melody transformation is crazy. My Melody as a human looks like no other human I've ever seen before. Her dress has strawberries. The back has bows. Her hair is cotton candy. And her eyes looks like two marbles that I would use to play snakes and ladders. <laughs> I love that game. The game not the snakes. Hey, family, our last transformation we have today is Hang Yodan. <laughs> Look how funny 
Daddy, he looks as the cartoon version. The cartoon version is the small circle on the left. <gasps> and look at him transforming into a human on the right. Wait a second. Him as a cartoon version actually looks very similar to him as a human. Because look at his big, big eyeballs. They kind of look like an alien. Okay, color him in blue, just like the real Sanrio cartoon. He got the blue jacket, the pink top, just like the color of his lips, the blue hair, red eyes, and look at his neck, family. What is that on his necklace? I see a chain. I see some spikes. But what's that in the middle? Is that a fish? Oh, bro. Why do you have a fish on your neck? Are you trying to act stinky? Because uh, I don't know if that's a good way to make friends and all. Because instead of bringing them towards you, you're going to make them run away. Just like me and the family are about to do right now. Family, all of the bonus transformations are complete. Which one is your favorite? Number one, two, three, or four? Comment down below your favorite character from today's video and I'll heart your comments. Go get Big Nuggy, Saucy Nuggy, and Dippy Nuggy Plushie at shoplegs.com. Me and all the Nuggies love you so much. And we'll see you all in tomorrow's video.